So you've got a spear, you've got a target, but no matter what, you still cannot stick the spear into the hay bale and you keep doing 30 burpees. Let me tell you what I do when I come up to the spear throw in a Spartan race. First thing I do, I lick my fingers. Then I grab the spear somewhere where I think is going to be the balance point. I hold my spear perfectly balanced like this. If every time you throw the spear, the nose goes down, then what you need to do is find the balance point, move your hand towards the front of the spear, okay? Make it back heavy. And keep making that adjustment in practice until you can find that spear going perfectly through the air. Now, if you've got the opposite problem and the tail is dragging like that and the nose is high, then you're gonna find the balance point and move back. So you make the, the spear nose heavy. Once you, find your, once you find your balance point, then you've got to experiment with different grips. There's lots of great videos out there on the web uh, that show you different ways to hold the, the spear. Some people like to hold it like this. This way tends to give you a little bit more power, but less accuracy. Holding it like a dart tends to give you the most accuracy, but the least power. So I like to split the difference. Instead of holding totally like a dart, like this, I hold a little bit like a fist, but then I put my pinky underneath. Now I had to experiment with that. I tried, I've tried always. I used to throw like a dart. I used to hold with the fist, but then I found my magic position right here. If I throw like this, I can nail the hay bale every single time, okay? So if you've got this problem with your spear going sideways like this every time you throw it, then that means you've got a pulling back problem. You're not pulling back straight. This is what you look like, most likely. As you pull back, the spear is going off to the side, which you don't know that. You feel like it's, it's, it's right. You pull it back like this, you're like, yeah, I've got it. But then the tip is pointed off to the side. So then when you pull the spear forward, the nose crosses in the front, and then your spear travels sideways like that. Now that's hard to catch yourself. What you've got to have is somebody to stand behind you when you're practicing your spear throw. Tell them to look at the spear when your hand is all the way back. So what I like to do, I put my hand right here on the spear, the other one right on my head. Then I pull it back and I make sure that I can see the spear with my eye like this. So I know that that spear is right next to my head, okay? If I don't see that spear, then I know I'm, I'm pushing the tip off to the side, okay? Just like that. Now, if you've got a problem with your spear not even making it to the hay or to your target that you've created, you've got a different problem. Let me show you how to fix that. So the hay bale in a Spartan race is about 25 feet. Now, if you just start practicing at 25 feet, you're not going to hit it. It's gonna take you forever to develop that skill. This is one thing that's left out of a lot of videos, and this is like the secret to hitting the spear throw. First, you've gotta start super close. So it's normally 25 feet. You're gonna start about five or six feet away, like literally, okay? So that the spear can touch the hay bale. Start this close, practice your technique. Just practice burying your spear right into that hay bale. Super easy, right? Now step back. We're gonna step back again. So now I'm about 10 feet away. Still super close. I'm gonna back it up a little bit more. So now I'm about 12, 13 feet away. Now the moment I notice my spear starting to go off course, that's where I'm going to stop. I'm going to continue practicing the spear throw at that distance until I can master that range. Then I'm gonna back up again. So now I'm about 16 feet away. 
So now at that range, if I've got some problems, like the tip is going down, the tip is going up, I'm going sideways, I don't have enough power, I'm going to stay at that range and continue practicing over and over again. In fact, I might actually move up a foot or two and practice. That way you can have success. If you don't have success with the spear throw, you're never going to get it. You've got to have some success. Here's another secret to the spear throw. So every week before I go to a Spartan race, I have to hit 10 spear throws in a row in my, in my training environment. So I've got to come outside, hit that spear throw 10 times. Now, if I'm on nine and I miss, then I've got to start over. I've got to hit 10 more perfect ones. There was one time out here I was missing at nine every single time, like three times in a row I missed at nine. But the awesome thing about that is every time I started to get to nine, my anxiety built up exactly how it does in the Spartan race. So when you can create that sort of in that anxiety in a practice setting, that will help you in a race. You've got to find a way to duplicate that in your training environment. Once you duplicate it and learn how to cope with it, then you'll become more successful. Once you start hitting 25 feet, then I encourage you to increase it to 30 feet, maybe even 35 feet. The reason being, when you get to a Spartan race, things can change. So even though it's going to be about 25 feet, there are races where the, the hay bales can actually be uphill. Throwing uphill is a hell of a lot harder than throwing when it's flat. So you've got to practice for all scenarios. Okay, so practicing that greater distance will help you. So here I'm going to attempt to hit it at 35 feet. this video helps if you enjoyed it please like it or give us a subscribe down below uh, also comment tell us when what race you hit your first spear throw in or if you haven't hit it yet then tell us what race you are determined to hit that spear throw good luck you guys